soup is still there. I remember eating it when I was a kid. A few years back, I met Jerry Stone and we immediately became friends. He had some properties in Maryland that he wanted to take me to for deer hunting. And we've had a lot of fun in the deer stand together over the past couple seasons. But this year he called me up and said he wanted to take me turkey hunting with a friend of his who was a guide and absolutely ate up with turkey hunting. So Derek and I jumped in the truck, we made a plan, finalized everything with uh, Stoner and with his buddy Doug, and we headed over to the Eastern Shore in Maryland for the final weekend of the uh, 2015 turkey season. Well guys, it's about 10 o'clock. We're uh, back at the truck taking a little drink break. We heard gobblers right on the roost this morning. We actually jumped a few hens off the roost and we're within 100 yards of two gobblers that were gobbling their heads off. Just never could get them pulled in. Walked all over this farm, checked a few fields, set up a couple different times, but the wind's just gotten up. We can't hear them. We don't think they can hear us. Hopefully these hens are leaving their gobblers and uh, we'll be able to strike something up here in a little bit. So we're going to finish drinking our monster and uh, try to get back after him. So stick with us. We'll see if we can't make something happen. Well, it certainly wasn't for a lack of trying. We walked all over this entire farm, up and down different logging roads, checking all the fields, all the clover plots, all the hay fields, and we just couldn't find any birds. The wind had gotten up, the birds couldn't hear us calling. We set up a few times and just really ran out of luck. We went back and got some lunch, uh, came back to the farm, walked around some more, and 
Doug decided to go ahead and set us up in a field that he thought the gobblers and the hens would feed before fly up time. So we got close to this field and sure enough, when we get there, there's already a hen feeding in the field. We ended up letting that hen feed off, and we decided to go ahead and put a couple decoys out. Our plan was to just sit there until dark and hope the gobblers and the hens showed up in this corner before fly-up time. We weren't there 10 minutes after we got situated and settled, and I looked over in the woods to the right of us, and here steps out a long beard. Hit him again! Shoot, shoot, shoot him again! Oh, shoot, get up there! Come on, hurry up! Be quiet! Holy! Well, guys, we're on our way home. Uh, didn't do a closing interview for the hunt. As you can probably tell, I was pretty disappointed to miss that giant bird, but. I guess it's just one of those things that happens, you know. Doug did a great job putting us on the bird there towards the end of the day, and he knew exactly what was going to happen in that corner. Put the decoys out, and we couldn't have asked for a better ending other than bringing the bird home with us. So we've got about a four and a half hour drive. We're tired, we're sweaty, we're ate up from mosquitoes and ticks, and we just looking forward to getting home and seeing our family. So good hunt today, good experience. Definitely had a blast, you know, hanging out with Stoner and, and Doug again. Can't thank those guys enough for uh, taking the time to take us out. Can't thank Derek enough for coming down and filming for me. So we had a blast and we're looking forward to the next adventure. But we've got a long ride home to think about this uh, miss. So <laughs> thanks for sticking with us, though. We'll keep uh, trying to bring you some action as we get it.